Hey guys, today we are going to talk about famous celebrities who play magic and I just realized that Hunter Pence, who is a baseball player, I believe he is still on the San Francisco Giants, but he may live in Houston because he's opening a game store and I'll have more information on that a little later in a second video. He's opening a game store in Houston. Uh, he's, his partner is his wife, obviously, and a guy called Ming from Comic Book Heroes. I can't remember when I watched it. It might have been on Netflix or Amazon, but it's like this geeky show with, you know, with geeks. And so Ming is the Asian dude, the typical Asian dude that you would have at your comic book store. So him, Hunter Pence, uh, his wife, maybe they have other investors, they opened a store and it currently is, I mean, he's taking it to the next level, right? Some of these people that we're going to mention play magic, but he actually owns his own magic store. So we have some NFL players, uh, Chris Cluey, I believe he was a Viking kicker, punter, uh, Doug Baldwin and Cassius Mars. We have obviously Hunter Pence. It's pretty cool. I mean, it is honestly very cool to see that magic has uh, appeal not um it appeal isn't limited by who you are it's just a fun intellectually stimulating game so in addition to some athletes we have jordan peel which we'll have a picture a little later brandon sanson which is who is a writer and gus from rooster teeth uh, sometimes when you look at League of Legends videos, I forget, I think Double Lift might play or somebody on his team plays because in the background you can see some magic cards. I think it's Pope Belter actually. He would probably be someone who would be, well, I mean, it's very, he's very smart. I think his IQ is over 200. So it's not just random nerds playing magic. It's athletes, writers, uh, accomplished writers, and... That's what the beauty of magic is. It brings together people from all different backgrounds. I do think that Hunter Pence is pretty interesting just because I'm in Houston. I don't know if he lives in Houston or not, but having a store with a coffee store in it. So it's, if you look at more magic stores today, the successful ones are coffee stores as well. The interesting model, and I'll explain the economics of why it makes sense, but you can't have a dirty local game store anymore. You need a fancy, brand new store that gives you all types of coffee because the profit margins on coffee are intensive. So do you guys know any other celebrities that play Magic or have been seen with Magic cards? I know that a long time ago, I think Chris Cluey, who was a punter at the Vikings, he had Adrian Peterson at the time, MVP, hold some commander decks, and that was pretty cool. Here, uh, you can see Peel, Jordan Peel, and I don't know what those cards are, but it looks, oh, it's, I think Arlen. One of them is an Arlen, so pretty good. And Arlen transformed. The other two are identical, but I'm not sure what they are. So, uh, pretty fascinating, and I'm sure that there is a longer list of people who do it, but you have comedians, you have athletes, you have writers. It's so diverse. And that really, from that, that subgroup, you can tell that magic has a wide, wide appeal. Now, when I play with magic, I play, one of my friends is a doctor. Yes, a MD doctor. Another one of my friends is a energy trader. He's a pretty big energy trader. Another one works at Morgan Stanley as an investment banker of some type. So yeah, I, I'm a business owner. The concept of magic being you know, this pimpled 17-year-old male is long gone because those people grew up and they got jobs and they got money. So you might ask, why is magic so much so expensive now is because those kids with the allowance money they all now are lawyers doctors they have gone to achieve and have an increase in income but the beauty of the game in my opinion is that 
you can go to do any F and M. You can sit down, and the person. It doesn't matter what the person does across the table from you for their regular day. You both enjoy a hobby. I can't think of too many other hobbies where random strangers can get together and have a good time.、Uh, and even though the random strangers might have vastly different backgrounds, here you see Brandon. He's trying to make his cube. It's so. Uh, it's pretty interesting, right? I mean, these people are really intense. It's not just that they're holding cards most of the time, like Adrian Peterson. It's that these guys are actually intense. This guy was trading for his entire cube, and I, that's pretty amazing. He was going to trade、uh, hardcover books for their Magic the Gathering cards.、Uh, before you get further, however, since this will involve shipping books, which are heavy, I have to limit to the continental U.S. I'm very sorry. I guess if you're overseas and you like to trade for eBooks, we might be able to work that out. I mean, he's trying to make a cube, right? Now, in my business career, I haven't found anyone who plays Magic. None of my clients do.、Uh, some of my employees have played Magic or have heard of it about it in the past, and you no, know, it's a fun environment. We always have decks around, if, like simple decks for people to use. Magic really is a great game. I know sometimes I seem negative about it, but it's the only game I can think about where you would have all these different types of people, even celebrities like Hunter Pence, is probably at his store sometimes,、um, and his store is supposedly a very nice place to go to. MMA fighter、uh, Ben Stiller. They're all just like giant nerds, right? So. There's no problem here. The more celebrities, especially when a, a Hunter Pence buys a store in Houston, operates a store in Houston, that's very, very good for our game.、Um, that's probably something that you want to, you want to have. You want to have. He is a giant nerd. I could see Aaron Rodgers.、Uh, he's a giant nerd too. Opening a game store eventually.、Uh, he's a big fan of board games. I don't know if he plays Magic, but I could see him playing Magic. We do have mass appeal. I just feel like that, for the most part, you cannot. It has gone down.、Um, it definitely has gone down from the hype, which was RTR.、Uh, when you look at RTR and you compare it to today, there was way more attention, way more interest back in the day. Then it is. I think there's too many products.、Uh, to be quite honest, I think they're just printing too many products, and the product quality is very poor because it's just a very poor quality right now. The card quality itself is very bad. But anyway, it's pretty interesting to make a list of celebrities who play Magic. If I'm missing anyone,、uh, let me know in the comment section be below. Bye, guys.